A 5-day-old embryo is a structure of approximately 140 micrometers in diameter, or 0.14 millimeter, hence invisible to the naked eye. Just by looking at it, it's impossible to identify to which species it belongs. Basically, DNA and size are different among species at this stage. DNA would later determine how the structure will grow into a buffalo, a horse, a chimpanzee, a human, or a rat. A rat is a mammal. Mammals are animals with mammary glands that are used by the female to feed their offspring in early age. Specifically, this mammal belongs to the Ratus ratus species from the Rodacea order. It once was a 5-day-old embryo too, just like it had been half spermatozoid, half ovum 5 days before. Today, it's a fully grown animal. It has a brain, 4 members, 1 heart, 2 eyes, 2 ears, 2 lungs. It has feelings too, pain, fear, hunger, sadness. It's also equipped with the rudimentary capacity of thinking, which scientists like to test using cheese. These are humans. Humans are also mammals, like rats, but they belong to the Homo sapiens species from the Primata order. Humans too have a rudimentary capacity of thinking, but a little bit more developed than the rats. Mmm, just a little. The rest is quite similar, spinal cords, ribs, scapulas, brain. The embryo is not similar at all to either the rat or the human. It has no mobility, no legs, no lungs, no kidneys, no liver, no spinal cord, no heart, and most of all, no brain. And because it has no brain, it has no feelings, no memories, no capacity of thinking or self-awareness. Its only role is to multiply its cells, just like bacteria or fungi. These are handicapped humans. Handicapped are humans that differ from others for having some kind of physical limitation that hinders them from living a normal human life. Playing football, running, jumping, surfing, dancing, or simply walking is not possible for all. Common medicine is incapable of fixing the physical limitation of these people. However, there's a chance that, with the advance of genetic and embryonic manipulation, scientists find a way to multiply tissues in order to replace damaged ones. Chance. A chance is an opportunity, a possibility, something that could happen. Chance to them means also hope. Hope is expectation, faith, aspiration, optimism, dream. Something you believe could happen. Something you desire. Something you really want to occur. Scientists may never find a way to fix these people's problems. But they sure could give them some hope. But the existence of their hope and chance depends on using embryos in scientific experiments. Embryos that are doomed to frozenness for eternity. But there are people that have more compassion for the 0.14 millimeter embryo than for the people. 0.14 millimeter. That is smaller than the tiniest piece of cuticle ever cut. Even the rat is closer to human than the five day old embryo but it does not seem outrageous to use them in scientific experiments if it is for the good of humankind. But the embryo, the embryo is untouchable. Perhaps because its 0.14 millimeter is composed by human cells. Don't bite your cuticle.